Now let's look at change of variables for definite integrals. Suppose I have a function u equal to g of x and um, it has a continuous derivative on the closed interval a to b and f is continuous on the range of g. Then the integral from a to b, the definite integral of f of g of x times the derivative of g uh, dx is equal to the integral from g evaluated at a to g evaluated at b of f of u du. Now the only difference between this and what we have been doing is now we're evaluating at specific limits. So we won't have that plus c, but we need to compute those specific limits. And so when you do these problems, I mean, you need to do what you did before. You need to identify a u, and then you need to identify a du. You need to do whatever uh, algebra is necessary to get this in an integrable form. And then you need to find the lower limit. And wherever x equals a, you're going to evaluate u at a, and that's your lower limit. Your upper limit, you're going to evaluate, and I want you to write x equals a, x equals b, and then evaluate u at b. All right? Now when you do these, put them in exactly like this. If this is 0 and that's 1, that's great. If this is 1 and this is 0, that's fine. You put them in exactly as um, transcribed because your functions are mapping a little bit differently, but the areas will be the same. Now, let's look at this problem right here. x squared plus 1 cubed times x dx. Um, let's let u equal the inside here. That's usually a good place to start. So du is 2x dx. Now I have this. This is going to be u cubed, but you can see I need a 2 here, so I need 1 half out here. All right, for my lower limit, when x is 0, u is 1. For my upper limit, when x is 1, u is 1 squared plus 1 or 2. So this whole integral becomes 1 half the integral from 1 to 2. Now let's see, this part of it is u cubed, and then the 2x dx is du. So I'm going to integrate this. This is 1 half times u to the 4 divided by 4, evaluated at 2 and at 1. All right, so this becomes 1 eighth times 2 to the 4 minus 1 to the 4. So it's 16 minus 1, so my answer is 15 eighths. Not so bad, was it? Okay, let's try one that might be a little bit more challenging. The integral from 1 to 5 of x divided by the square root of 2x minus 1 dx. Now remember, whenever you have this square root and this, and they're all to the first power, you're going to have to do uh, something a, a little bit, uh, you just have to do a little bit of a mathematical trick. Let u equal this argument in here. Just let u equal the square root of 2x minus 1. And now I'm going to solve this for x. So this is u squared is 2x minus 1. So x is u squared plus 1 divided by 2. Now I'm going to do take derivative with respect to x here. dx is 2u to the first plus 0 divided by 2 du. So in this case, dx is 2, oh, two's go away, is u du. Now I could have done it by taking the derivative here and solving it algebraically, and that's what I usually do. Um, but that gets a little challenging. Now my lower limit, when x is 1, u is the square root of 2 times 1 minus 1 which is 2 minus 1 
is 1, so this is the square root of 1, or just 1. My upper limit, when x is 5, u is the square root of 2 times 5 minus 1. So this is the square root of 10 minus 1, or 9, or 3. So my integral becomes the integral from 1 to 3. Okay, now x is u squared plus 1 divided by 2. All right. 1 over 2, um, x square root of 2x minus 1. This is 1 over u. So I'm going to plug that in. So I've got that part taken care of, that part taken care of. Now I have to look at dx. dx is u to u. Ooh. All right, now let's just see if we can do some simplification here. Those are going to cancel. And so I wind up with 1 half the integral from 1 to 3 of u squared plus 1 du. Now you know something. I can integrate that fairly easily. This one, not so much. So this becomes 1 half times u cubed divided by 3 plus u evaluated at 1 and 3. So what does this become? Let's see, this is 1 half times, let's see, 3 cubed divided by 3 plus 3 minus, this is a upper limit, my lower limit is 1 cubed divided by 3 plus 1. So this is 1 half. What is this right here? Three, I can take one of these out and this becomes nine plus three minus one third minus one. So this isn't too bad. This becomes, um, let's see, nine plus three, nine plus two is 11. 11 minus one third, let's see. This is just out for this point. 9, 10, 11, 12, so it's 11 minus 1 third. So this becomes 33 minus 1 becomes 32 over 2 times 3, which is 16 thirds. All right, so you give these a go. Do your best, and um, good luck. Turn off the, video, the tape when you're done. Finish your homework.